about if you all had three families with ten people in it, are you guys all going to bring the same amount of beans? No. No. Is that what that data shows? Yep. All right. So you knew that the first time, right? I didn't. I just realized that this second. Uh, you just made us think. Okay. The teachers actually question what you think, you know, and you discover um, the questions, the answers yourself, and you experience the actual, you know, learning experience. What do you guys think? No. No. no why not? Because it's a lot more engaging for like. Me. Wait a second. Do four again. No, that's good. That's good. Don't let him trick you. Again. He's literally trying to trick me this time. And we like figure out what we're supposed to learn instead of him just like telling us this is how you do it. If the, the line of y equals 3x, what does that mean? It's not just a teacher kind of saying, oh, this is how it works, this is what the math is. You kind of have to figure it out for yourself. What else algebraically does it represent? X and Y pairs. How many X and Y pairs? Infinite. Right. And so it's a lot bigger concepts that you have to understand, and so you're learning a lot more. I like working in groups here because it's like I can understand, like if I do something wrong or like I feel like I get an answer that isn't right, I have more people or another person there to like help me like get it right. Um, the best possible answer. Working with fellow peers allows you to come up with different strategies than you probably you never would have thought of before. I do like working with other students because we get to bounce ideas off each other. If the mom's 25 and the kid is 15, that means that the mom will have the baby at 10. <laughs> okay. Like one person gets a different answer, we can like show them what we did. Yes. Okay, so number of days, pounds of sugar. Okay, I like to talk, so um, help me helping like other people and other people helping me, it works a lot better for me than just sitting by myself quietly trying to figure something out. We are working together, you know, thinking together and, you know, problem solving together. I've learned to be more confident in the math that I'm doing because I'm finding them out on my own rather than being told what the answer is. You have to learn how to look at a problem to figure out what you need to solve and then be able to solve it. I definitely have more time uh, to actually like catch up on the math and to actually know what I'm doing, so I feel more confident. When I tell people I'm doing math essays, they go, an essay in math? Like, what are you doing? But I realize now the importance of it. Um, it kind of helps you write down everything and remember it, and you have to explain the process. You're almost kind of like the teacher, and I think definitely when you teach things to somebody, you understand it better yourself. At first, it was kind of like, oh, I have to write in a math class. This is really weird. I don't like this. And so it doesn't matter how many you have. It just like can go off like, from it. So it is straight up. But then you kind of realize that when you have to put it down on paper, then you have to kind of figure out your thoughts a lot more and you have to kind of organize them a lot more and that helps you understand the stuff you learned better. Last year I took geometry and there's so many formulas for the area of circles and area of triangles. And we were just given the paper and been like, here, here are the things. I'll show you how to do it, but you never really came to the conclusion yourself. So. Even if you didn't understand it, you could still pass the class because you had the formulas, but now I can understand it. Last year, I like, these in math. But now this year, like, I have an A in math. It makes me really happy because I'm, I'm trying, and it's like, it's just a lot easier when you try, so you're not like procrastinating work and failing and having to deal with making stuff up and going through a whole long process of that. Well, I want to become an architect when I'm older, so I'm going to have to play geometry into a big part of it. And right triangle trig, which we just learned, will help me a lot in what I want to be when I'm older. It'll be harder for us to forget what we learned because it, we take more from it because we're problem solving and figuring it out for ourselves. And we're not just being told what the answer is. We're like, 
engaging with it. Yes! Yeah. Okay. So what's it gonna be? So we won't ever like forget the formula because to us like we made the formula. So it's like ours.